Now that we have our road, we need to project this plan view onto a side view, which we call profile. Um, you'll notice that um, there's a grid down below of various elevations, and you can see each line is actually a fifth of a foot. So 0.2 feet. Um, so we need to see what the topography of this land really is. You can see it, it's mostly 122-ish. It kind of goes through different, different things. All right, so um, I'm going to actually freeze this layer temporarily. So that I don't see it, I'm also going to freeze this layer. Now, that way they're out of the way, I need to find out all of the places that this road center line crosses a contour line. They're not happening at regular intervals. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to invoke the, la the line command, not polyline. That's very important. So this, I'm going to choose this first one. Actually, I'm going to go down here. I am going to take off the dynamic input. I do want the ortho mode to be on, and I want everything to be off except intersection. And what I'm going to do in this line command, see it shows me all the places that the center line intersects with another line. So I'm going to start my line. And then I'm going to scroll down until, and just stick it somewhere on the grid. Oop. turn off my snaps momentarily and just there we go and then get out of that command now i forgot to put this on the correct layer so let's put this on the projection lines layer and let's go ahead and make the projection lines layer current Uh, this is a little hard to see, so I'm going to go ahead and change this. Uh, it's 75% transparent. Let's change that to 25. It's hard to see on the black background. And it is also needs to be dashed. So let's, uh, let's call it hidden. And let's change the line type scale. Let's see if smaller works. Maybe larger will work. This is in inches, so I need to really step it up. There we go. So then I can see it. All right. I've done one. But I need to do all of these. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to use the control C copy sort of shortcut. What I want to do is actually the copy command. The reason for that is that way I can specify a base point and I want my base point to be the front of that, the top of that line. And so now I'm just going to click wherever they go. And because my snaps are on, it's just drawn like a little magnet. I don't even need to be super careful about where I'm clicking 
because as soon as I see that little X, it's going to, it's going to send it there. Even if I'm a little farther away, as soon as I see it, click, there it goes. So this makes quick work of this repetitive task. Now, if you'll remember, save, some of these, you know, lines are much farther apart than others, and we've got them all going to the same elevation. We know they're not in real life. So let's see, this one, all those times that they go on, you could, and I'll show you, you could say uh, this one is at 122. You could go ahead and select this line, hover, lengthen, and uh, let's go perpendicular. Okay, you could do that. Or you could be lazy slash efficient like me, highlight the one, you know, the first one, for instance, and then select all of the ones that meet at those places. This is leveraging my knowledge of commands. And now I'm going to shift click. See, it turns into a minus to get rid of that because I don't want to change that one. So now I'm going to use the extend command. And these are all 122, so I'm going to add this. I'm going to do EX. And see how they are all still highlighted? And now I'm just going to click on them so I can see which ones they were. And they all just whoop, go right to where they need to be. And then I escape out of it. So now I'm going to go to the next one. And go ahead and keep doing that until you are finished with all of the, the projection lines and they end up where they belong. And that's it.